Hey everybody, greetings from Nashville. I am taking a break from my travels to answer one of the most common questions that we get this time of year, and that's, is it too late to plant our perennials, trees, and shrubs? And I'm gonna give you the official kind of safe answer, and then I'm gonna give you my answer based on my experience living in Northern Michigan, right on the border between zones four and five. So the official answer is the best times to plant would be like in the spring, after the threat of frost is gone. So that would be for us the month of June for the most part. And then in the fall, it's a bit more of a moving target. You want to have six weeks before kind of the big kind of deeper freeze night where everything kind of goes dormant. And so for us, that's a moving target because we could get that hard frost pretty much any time in October, sometimes even in September, but sometimes it doesn't show up till November. So like I said, the end of August, through the middle of September is usually that kind of safe period for us. It's all gonna depend on kind of the weather that year. Now, based on experience though, you can go a lot later than that, especially when you have really zone hardy plants. So like lower zone plants that are zones three and kind of that low four, those tend to be really good about being able to be planted right until, like we plant right until the ground is frozen and we generally have no problems at all. And that's even the case with the higher zone fours. So if you have, say, shrubs, the low zone ones are going to be things like your lilacs and spirea and potentella and nine barks and kind of all those kind of standard shrubs that we're really familiar with. Uh, those will be fine. Your hardy perennials, and when I say hardy, I mean those zone four and zone three perennials. Most of the big trees that we have, like the maples and the oaks and like apple trees, those tend to do pretty good. Once you get into some of the more zone five plants and even some of the milder zone four plants, there's a little bit more risk. So the higher the zone number, the higher the risk. So some of those plants that we really watch out for are gonna be things like the macrophylla hydrangeas. Those are those big leaf hydrangeas that are either blue or pink usually. Uh, also some of the mountain hydrangeas and the oak leaf hydrangeas. Those are just all a little bit more sensitive to the cold. Uh, meanwhile, your panicle hydrangeas, the cone-shaped ones and the arborescent, the ball-shaped ones, those do fine. Uh, so you don't have to worry about those. Also viburnum, the snowball bushes, those are fine very very hardy but as we get into those higher zone plants we do have to be a little more careful uh, we just you know they're they like to have a little bit more root development before they hit the winter especially because our winters sometimes are a little harder on them than what they like so keep that in mind know the zone of your plant know the zone of your garden uh, if you have a higher zone plant, it's a good idea to make sure that it's in a little bit more protected spot now any of the plants that you put in the ground it's a good idea to give them some mulch that's going to help insulate them but more importantly it's going to keep some moisture in because you don't want these plants to dry out over the winter. You don't want those roots, you know, because they haven't developed past the edge of the pot, uh, usually uh, when you plant them a little bit later, like right now. So that means that, you know, they could dry out a little bit. So that uh, extra mulch is going to help. Don't put the mulch up against the trunk of the plant or the base of the plant. Leave a little space around it. Uh, you're just going to kind of insulate the top of the roots and that's all you need to do. So don't, don't be doing, they call it the mulch volcano where you you know, push all the mulch up against the trunk. That's not good for any of our plants. So avoid that. Uh, I would definitely recommend uh, keeping that off the table. Uh, meanwhile, uh, other plants like your evergreens, we have pretty good luck planting out evergreens this time of year. The thing you have to watch out for is that because they have those needles or they have those knee leaves, uh, they're losing a little bit more water than other plants. So it's even more important that you don't let those dry out. So especially if you've planted them like on a berm or something like that, where they're, or they're exposed to a lot of wind where the ground can dry out you're going to want to make sure that it's you know stays pretty moist uh, you have damp soil around them for most of the season Be uh, now fortunately where we live we tend to get enough rain and snow throughout the season that we don't have to do much supplemental watering but it is important that once you get them in the ground that they stay kind of moist we don't want them to be soaking or sitting in water but we do want to make sure that that soil isn't too dry and that those roots don't dry out so let's see what else do i want to tell you about uh, a lot of people are going to be asking too well can i just leave them in the pots and and I talked about that in my last video about planting perennials in pots. Uh, you can, you're just gonna wanna make sure that they're protected. Uh, and there's a couple other tips that I gave you on that. So what else do I wanna tell you about planting right now? Oh, a lot of people also ask like, hey, do I need to amend my soil? What do I need to do? Well, if you're planting them late, and let's say the ground is you know, not frozen yet, but getting close to that. Uh, they're not taking up any nutrients. There's not gonna be a whole lot of root development. Now, if you planted them right now today, there'd be some time for some development. A lot of people have that general rule of you don't do anything around it. You just dig the hole the size of, that you need it, put it in, and 
you know, let the plant do its thing. We usually dig a little bit farther around and then we amend the soil. We go half and half with a compost like dairy dew or you know, just a, a better soil around it. Half and half though with our native soil and this kind of amended soil, just so that we give it a little bit more uh, boost with the nutrients. Uh, so that's how we do it and we've had really great success. You don't really have to worry about fertilizer until the spring. Usually when we start seeing leaves emerging or kind of bulging buds, that's when we go and add our time release fertilizer or a layer of compost and that usually gives them that extra bit of nutrition that they need to be able to really thrive uh, in that kind of prime growing season. Uh, and you can use both in combination with each other or one or the other. Uh, whatever you need to do to you know give it that kind of boost. So I guess in summary, yes, definitely plant things out now. You have right until the ground starts getting frozen. Once the ground is frozen, don't don't bother. It's too much work trying to dig that hole. Uh, otherwise, you know, wait until we get until springtime. But this is a really good time for you to go to like garden centers or garden departments because they're all having sales. They want to get rid of this stuff before it gets really kind of cold. Hopefully this gives you the information you need and you have the confidence now to go ahead and put these plants in the ground and that way you can enjoy them next season. Uh, they're going to be looking great. Gives them a little bit of a boost be right in the ground first thing when we start getting that warmer weather and they can leaf out on our schedule and they're going to just be looking really great. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. Hope you're having a great week.